Hi, one last question on free fall today. If you throw a ball upward with some initial velocity, what's the, what's the speed of the ball when it reaches its, its highest point? And what will the acceleration be at its highest point? So I toss my key, say, or a ball up. When it's at the very highest point in its path, what's the speed at the top and what's the acceleration at the top? Not many people have trouble with the speed. Um, <laughs> nearly everyone says zero, and that's correct. Uh, and the ball reaches its highest point. The um, gravitational field has slowed the ball down, decreased its speed, and so at the very tip top of its path, uh, it's not moving uh, for a moment. Uh, its speed is zero. But the acceleration at its highest point, that's a little trickier. Um, some think, oh, it must be zero too, since the velocity is zero. But you have to recall what acceleration really is. <clears throat> Should get a helmet. Acceleration is the rate of change in velocity. So when the velocity is zero at the top, and we agreed that it is, I hope, is it still changing? Is the velocity changing from zero to something else? Is gravity still pulling on the ball? The answer to both of those questions is yes. So even when the speed at the very top is zero, it's changing from zero to something else. Gravity is still acting on the ball. So the acceleration at the highest point is still 9.80 meters per second squared down. Um, that acceleration never changes. It doesn't matter which direction the ball is moving or if it's moving at all in this case. I need to space these out a bit. There we go. So I've drawn a motion diagram to help us think about this again. And uh, we have zero, we have seven positions here. So it starts down here, gets slower. So the vo blue velocity vectors are getting smaller and smaller as we go up. And as we go down, the blue velocity vectors are getting bigger. The ball is farther apart in each successive second. So on the way up, the velocity is up and the acceleration is down. And remember that when the velocity and acceleration are opposite, we slow. On the other side, the velocity is always down. The acceleration is still down and we speed up. But even at the top, when the velocity is zero, the acceleration is still down. Gravity doesn't shut off just because a ball is at the top of its path. That would be crazy. <clears throat> For fun, what would happen if the velocity was zero at the top and the acceleration were zero? Wouldn't it just stay there? It wouldn't change from zero? And so uh, the ball would just hang up there in midair if, if, if this wasn't true. It'd be really easy to clean your room. You just toss all the clothes up on the ceiling and the floor looks clean, everybody's happy. 